we need to talk about the Raiders. Very important oh game coming up this week. This is a must-win game for neither team. The Raiders might as well shut it down and lose the rest of their games, and the Niners could probably beat the Raiders without trying. So, very important matchup. How do you see this one playing out? Upset. No. <laughs> Hell no. What the? I see him playing on the Raiders are going to get stomped out, trying their hardest, while the Niners are going to probably sleepwalk because they're going to be hungover from New Year's. <laughs> they're going to be hungover from New Year's. <laughs> they could beat the Raiders hungover with their backups. That's how pitiful this team is. They don't have to study for this game. They could just show up and play like a scrimmage. This team is bad. It's just Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams, but even then, he doesn't get targeted. I, I think I think what's going to be the key here, I think the only challenge to the Niners, it's going to be a stress test in how they handle a, a good running team. Because that's all the Raiders have is handing to Josh Jacobs, who's been one of the best, if not the best, running backs in the league. Yeah. So I think of this: you got Armstead back, you got Kinlaw back. This is your good stress test game for these guys to really go up against a good running team, just in case you know you're playing a Dalvin Cook. And I know that's a different running style versus the Raiders, and you know you're against the Eagles, against the Cowboys, all these running teams. At least that'll be something that can really like warm you up against a team that you could face in the playoffs. Because this game, I don't see the Raiders scoring any more than like 14 points. It's going to be like a 31 14 game this matchup bores me because so it, the Niners are going to win by a lot but what, what's interesting to me is just looking at the Raiders they're such a mess and like they've clung to Derek Carr for damn near a decade Stinks. and it's finally looking like they're going to have to move on they might I mean like they should probably not play him the last two they weeks might not because I think I said something about if he gets hurt his injury guarantees for the next two years and he becomes untradeable Right, so he might even not—he might not even play in this game. And I, I just Stidham season, it. baby, Jared Stidham. I like Stidham when he was going out of college, but I mean, no. But here, here's the thing about uh, the rate. Oh, here's the thing about Derek Carr and why it's all over for him. He's kind of like Jimmy Garoppolo. Got this stat: so most losses by a starting quarterback in the first nine NFL seasons since 1950. You got Stinks. Archie Manning at 83. You remember Archie Manning, Peyton's dad, lost a lot of games with the Saints. Derek Carr, number two, 79. 79 losses. Go away, Derek. It's not gonna it's not all his fault, but like it's not gonna happen for you. You know how we were saying with Jimmy, it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen for Derek Carr. Go away. And now he's he's entering that stage of his career where he's like on a one year deal where, hey, we'll give him a shot. But we also drafted a guy. Yeah, you know, he's like the Matt Ryan stage of his career, except he's 32 or something. Who the hell wants to root for Derek Carr? How much how do you bring in Derek Carr to your locker room and team and players are like, we got this. Super Bowl. Let's do this. No. We're gonna they gave lose him the ten best games. Receiver in the league, they gave him a premier running game, and the dude got regressed. Who'd have thought he regressed? This is why. This is this is like almost the same point of why I never was for like any points that you gave or other people pointed. Is like, hey, they could have, they, they didn't need to trade Trey Lance, a trade of Trey Lance. They could have just took Kyle Pitts or Jamar Chase, and it's like, yeah, but he wouldn't be anywhere the way he looks if you have Jimmy because right. it would have been the same thing. And I think right. This, and that was my Carr point with the Christian Adams. McCaffrey trade. That was my point with the Christian McCaffrey trade. I'm like, hold on, is the quarterback yeah. still Jimmy Garoppolo? They're not going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's not like it's not like you're giving a promising young player like a stud. Like like look at Jalen Hurts. All of a sudden, AJ Brown. I think we talked about it in the off season about like look, we compared like off teams off, off offensive acquisitions, and we mentioned that Brown trade. It's like look, Hurts in theory should get a little better, and AJ Brown thing at least will help round out. I'll give a good uh, a good gap there, so make them better. Um, and who, who, other teams made a trade like that too. But yeah, that, I think that's pretty much <laughs> we, we already know what that is. And I think Derek Carr crumbles like a cookie with pressure. So this might be like at least like a five to eight sack game for the 49ers. You know, like one of the things that we like about um, or appreciate with Brock is how calm and confident he is, and how he doesn't really seem intimidated despite the fact that he looks like a little kid on the field. Dude, that is not Derek Carr. Derek oh, Carr seems so, like, timid. so much anxiety. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to get hurt. Oh, my God, I'm going to get hurt. Oh, my God, I get out of here. It's like, dude, retire. What are you doing, man? Like, you don't need to play football anymore if that's how you feel. You have enough money. You've done it. And you're not that good. Like, go away. Retire. Ever since he broke his back in 2017. <clears throat> yes. He seems freaked. And I guess, you know, that happens to players that play football. You get hit. Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't even play that, that timid. And he's had way more injuries than but, him. Yeah, Jimmy's Mr. Happy Feet, but Derek Carr is like, he takes happy feet to the whole, he's extremely elated. He has elated feet. That's how happy they are. <laughs>